So this is a small library exhibit, uh, some selections from a gift from uh, Thomas Reagan. And um, we've called this the Good Neighbor Fleet. Um, uh, this is actually a collection of materials from the Moore McCormick line, uh, which took advantage of some subsidies uh, offered by uh, the Roosevelt administration in the 1930s uh, to better trade, uh, both trade and tourist trade relations with our South American neighbors. Uh, when he was inaugurated, um, Franklin Roosevelt uh, noted that he wanted to change and better relations with our South American neighbors, uh, away from the gunboat diplomacy employed by his uh, distant cousin, Theodore Roosevelt. Um, he was very concerned about Nazi infiltration of South America and uh, our Latin American neighbors, uh, so he wanted a really better relations with the United States and uh, our our neighbors in the Western Hemisphere. Towards that end, he also wanted to promote uh, shipping, uh, American flag shipping, that is, and build up a, a strong naval presence. And uh, so he offered government subsidies to companies uh, for uh, applying the routes between uh, the North America and uh, uh, Argentina, Brazil, Uruguay, and, and our other southern neighbors. The items from this first case date from the uh, late 30s, early 40s, and uh, early 50s as well. And um, they show the early period in which the Moore McCormick line uh, inaugurated its good neighbor fleet. Uh, we have some promotional materials, um, uh, and, as well as some uh, actual photographs that show the ships in dry dock. Of course, during World War II, the ships were requisitioned by the US government for use as troop transports. But immediately following the war, they uh, reconverted those ships uh, into luxury liners once again. To my mind, some of the most uh, memorable images from this collection uh, are here on the wall behind me. And these are actually menu covers uh, from the uh, Good Neighbor Fleet from the 1950s. They're actually designs uh, by Ada Peacock. Ada Peacock was a native of Ohio. She actually moved to New York City and did some work for uh, a costume design for some Broadway productions. You can see the attention to detail that she has in costume here in these images as well. She ultimately married a British advertising executive and moved with him to Buenos Aires, Argentina, where she continued to do gouaches and watercolors of the local uh, peoples, again, always concentrating on the amazing, uh, colorful dress uh, of those peoples. Uh, the Moore McCormick line was so taken with her work that they decided to use it uh, to decorate the menus for their uh, luxury liners. So together with uh, several other collections, we have the Mitchell Wolfson Jr. collection of promotional materials dealing with ocean liners from the interwar period. We also have the Lawrence Miller collection uh, dealing largely with the post-war period, and now the Tom Reagan collection. Uh, we've got probably one of the largest uh, collections of promotional materials for ocean liners, really comprehensive, uh, possibly in the Western Hemisphere, perhaps even the world.